Daily Pink Slip. From a prison massacre that took over a hundred lives to an inescapable island penitentiary, we're counting down 10 of the most violent prisons in the world. Number 10. Let's get one thing clear. Camp 22 is not your typical summer camp. Located in North Korea, this horrific maximum security prison is 500 acres of torture and famine. The prisoners endure water torture by standing in a tank of water filled up to their nose for 24 hours. They also use kneeling torture. A wooden bar is placed behind the inmate's knees and they have to kneel down. This cuts off circulation to the legs. After a week, the prisoner can't walk anymore. Most die months later. In this camp, guards are told to treat their captives like slaves, not human beings. The only survivors of Camp 22 have been actual employees of the prison itself. Number 9. Kitarama Prison in Rwanda is easily one of the most disgusting locations on our list. The prison was built to house only 400 inmates, yet houses over 7,000. Due to this overcrowding, the floors are constantly moist with feces. Prisoners often experience gangrene, causing their toes to fall off and limbs later amputated to save their lives. It is said that you can smell the prison a half mile away. Malnourishment is also an issue, with some prisoners resorting to cannibalism just to survive. Our advice? Never break any laws in Rwanda. Number 8. Another prison that suffers from overcrowding is the El Rodeo prison in Venezuela. When there are too many prisoners, it becomes very difficult to control them. This allows the prisoners to get knives, guns, and other weapons very easily. This also allows for gang activity to increase within the prison. In 2011, an actual shootout happened between gangs, resulting in 27 deaths and 70 injuries. When the National Guard reclaimed the prison, they found machine guns, ammunition, and hand grenades. Since 1999, over 5,000 prisoners have died within the walls of El Rodeo. The Venezuelan government promised 15 new prisons to help the overcrowding issue, but only two have been built so far. Number 7. If you break the law in New York City and need to cool down for a while, Rikers Island is probably where you'll end up. Like the name implies, this prison is located on an island between the Queens and the Bronx. A single bridge is the only entry point to the island. This prison is known for severe mistreatment of inmates by the guards and other employees. In recent years, Rikers Island has received lots of media attention for how poorly they were treating prisoners. As of 2014, very little has been accomplished in getting the abusers prosecuted or fired from their positions. This prison is still fully operational and likely will remain as such. Number 6. Easily one of the worst prisons in the world is Tadmor Prison of Syria. This human containment is known for abuse and torture of the highest order. Inmates have been dragged to death, chopped up by an axe, and other medieval techniques. Worse yet, these punishments were sometimes given at complete random to keep the prisoners constantly afraid. Most famously, this prison was raided by Syrian military and over a thousand prisoners were executed in a bloody massacre. In May 2015, this prison was captured and demolished by explosives. Number 5. In 1980, the Deerbacker prison was built. It quickly gained a reputation as one of the most barbaric prisons in the world. Prisoners endure an astonishing variety of torture at the hands of the guards. Rape, sexual humiliation, electric shocks, pulling out nails and teeth, and being burned with cigarettes are just a few examples. From 1981 to 1984, this torture was particularly rampant, and this period is known as the period of barbarity. Despite construction on a new prison nearby, the original remains operational to this day. Number 4. Venezuelan prisons are known for their overcrowding, and La Sabaneta is no exception. In a prison that is designed to hold only 700 prisoners, there are more than 3,700 people serving out a variety of sentences. Unsanitary conditions allow sickness and disease to run rampant. Once, over 600 prisoners died from a cholera epidemic in Sabaneta. Inmates are packed into corridors with only a hammock to sleep on, while wealthier inmates get a private cell with better accommodations. A poor guard-to-prisoner ratio means that stabbings and other attacks occur quite often, and there are no attempts by the Venezuelan government to improve this harsh prison. Number 3. The Bangwang Prison in Thailand is home to death row and life sentence inmates. For the first three months, prisoners are required to wear leg irons to keep them from moving around too quickly. For those on death row, these leg irons are welded together, further restricting movement. Prisoners are given little food each day and must work for money to purchase food from the prison canteen. Those that cannot work go malnourished. Bang Kwong is still in full operation to this day. Number 2. The most famous prison in France, La Sainte, is known for one thing above all else, the guillotine. 
In 1909, they conducted their first execution by guillotine. They did so in public view until an execution in 1939. Use of the guillotine surprisingly continued all the way up until 1972. In 2000, a head doctor of the prison revealed that living conditions were unsanitary and illness was a problem. This led to a full-on investigation by the French government. This is particularly ironic because the name Le Sant translates literally into prison of the health. This French prison is still open to this day. Number 1. Built in 1956, the Carandiru Penitentiary in Brazil has the reputation of being one of the worst prisons in history. The unsanitary conditions combined with poor medical attention left many prisoners with HIV or AIDS. In 1992, a riot broke out in the prison that resulted in the death of over 100 inmates. Military police stormed the prison and shot down everyone in their path. The commanding officer of this massacre was sentenced to life in prison but was eventually assassinated. In 2002, the prison was demolished but left behind a legacy that can never be unwritten. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Do us a favor and subscribe to Daily Pink Slip. Click like, share with your friends, hit us up on Facebook and Twitter, and leave your comments. A new Daily Pink Slip video just for you guys every Monday at 10 p.m. with more videos throughout the week. Don't miss it.